Good morning, everybody. It's Daryl back again. I didn't do an intro on this video. What you're fixing to see is me checking on those two hives from the cutout and the swarm removal. Uh, something you're going to see me do in this video is something that I normally wouldn't do. And if you've only got two hives and one of them is queenless, I wouldn't suggest doing this because if it goes wrong, those bees that are coming over could actually kill your queen. Uh, but with the what you're fixing to see, you're going to see that's really not going to be an issue here. So uh, just want to give you a little warning on that. So stick around to the end and uh, we'll talk about this a little bit further. Alrighty, I'm trying to block the wind. We got storms in the area as usual. So I'm trying to block the wind. There's not blowing on the camera because there ain't nothing more aggravating than wind noise. I got to let our queen out. As you can see, this hive stacked pretty good. My queen clips fell down to the bottom. I got to find her. Now, just to catch you up, this is the hive that we did the cut out, or the uh, the swarm that was beside the column cut out. This is it. In case you hadn't seen that other video, I got to remember where I put my queen clip at. I seed it. Way these bees are acting, and she's still in there. Let's see. Yeah, she's still in there. I don't know if y'all be able to see her or not, but. I'll let her run around there in a minute. If I can get a good screenshot of her, I'll. Uh, screenshot it so y'all can see her so many bees on the outside of it she's kind of a dark queen so we're gonna bring her up here and let her out Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so y'all maybe y'all can see come out of the cage and there she went just that quick so what we're gonna do is push these frames together I got to put another frame in here too I'll get one of them out the back of the golf cart and we'll leave them let them do what they got to do Put a regular plastic foundation in there. So there we go. So they should be good to go for now. Uh, I'm gonna pull y'all up a little bit and we'll check this other hive. We'll do it all on one video since they they got here together. Now, as y'all can see, or you should be able to see, that queen excluder is kind of sagging there in the middle. So if we did have a queen, she could have got out if she wanted to. I probably should put my veil on because I don't feel like getting stung in the face today. So I'm gonna check this hive and see if we've got a queen in it. And see how many bees we've got in here. It don't look like very many. I'm betting a bunch of them migrated over there to that other hive. And if that's the case, I'll probably shake these out on the ground 
and just let the rest of them join up with the other hive. Probably the easiest thing to do. No more bees are in here. Uh, that'll be the easiest thing to do. But we'll look it over and see if we see a queen in here. They're not real loud, so I'm normally if your hive's queenless, there'll be a lot of noise in the hive. But like I said, I'm not hearing that. I'm not seeing where Queen's been laying or anything. Let's check this other high, or this other frame right here. So it's been, today's Thursday. So if there was a Queen in this hive, she would have been laying by now. Cause it's been four days. Like I'm saying, I'm not seeing anything on here as far as a laying queen on either side. So I'm gonna say they're queenless. No more bees than there is in this. I'm just gonna shake them out on the ground and let them go in the hive somewhere else. Be a whole lot easier that way. So I'll back y'all up and let y'all let y'all see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look them over again a little bit, but I'm pretty sure they're queenless. There is a little bit of a hum to the hive, but like I said, I think they're queenless. I'll back y'all up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. What I'm doing here is I'm just making sure we don't have a queen somehow wound up on the bottom board or on this bottom of this uh, queen excluder. And I don't think we do because I don't see her. I see a big old drone. And what I'm thinking had happened, as many bees as we sucked up, they should have uh, been way more numbers in this hive. So I'm thinking that they, uh, they already joined some of these hives already out here. And no more than we got in this box. We're just going to let them uh, migrate to other hives. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're slowly working their way over to that five frame nuke and like i said no more bees than what's in there they're not going to cause any issues with that other hive over there so we're going to give them a few minutes we'll probably do a time lapse of them uh 
slowly moving over that way. See how they're congregating on the front of that five frame nuke? Like I said, I don't think it's going to cause any issue because uh, that's pretty much their coin anyway. I had a subscriber or somebody comment on one of the videos and was wondering if uh, since they had uh, sprayed that hive, if the queen might have had left that hive and was forming because of it. And it very well could be. see they're going into the hive there's no fighting going on or anything like that they're pretty much just letting them walk on in so I think they're gonna be all right So there we go, we'll go jump on the cart and do a wrap up. So there we go, we're gonna let those bees move into that five frame nuke. I don't think they'll go in there and kill the queen. Cause like I said, they're not fighting on the front of that hive. If there's gonna be any issues, they'd be uh, throwing down. Be almost like they were trying to rob it out or something. So I think they're gonna be all right. Uh, another way you could have done that if you wanted to take the time and do it would be the newspaper method. And that's where you, uh, well, you'd have to do it with two five frame nukes, but you uh, put a piece of newspaper on top of the hive, cut little slits in it, and then set another hive body on top of it, and then put your uh, hive that you want to combine with the other one on, on the top. And what it is, is it lets them slowly get used to each other. And uh, over a couple days time, then they'll start inter intermingling. And uh, that's one of the safer ways to uh, combine two hives. But like I said a while ago, no more bees that was in that hive. That's not going to be an issue, I don't believe. So we'll do an update on this five frame nuke in maybe a week or so. And uh, we'll uh, see how they're doing. Uh, when I post these videos, they get out of sync because I do, like I'm fixing to go do some more hive inspections. And uh, they kind of get out of sync a little bit. But uh, I'll... Uh, I kind of titled this kind of close to what the uh, the uh, other one is, the two for one videos. So hope y'all doing good. Thanks for all my new subscribers. If you're watching this and not a subscriber, it don't cost anything to hit the subscribe button. So uh, help the channel out by subscribing and hitting the like button on it. It helps with the algorithms of YouTube. I'll get it out and uh, helps promote the videos and helps the channel grow. So hope y'all doing good. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one.